This video is for the seventh grade social media blog assignment two, topic one post and citation. First, go to Google Drive and search for your finding reliable websites document. It should be the one with your name and your partner's name on it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to where you have website number one. And you're gonna click on the link and then you should have a blue link appear underneath it and then what you want to do is find um, a quote that you want to talk about in your blog um, so here's an example of an interesting quote um, but anyway what you want to do is next go back over to your drive and you're going to search for your copy of blog template um, so then you'll type that in and click on it when it appears. And then you're going to type in um, your topic one post title. So for example, mine happens to be, um, can people legally steal my Instagram photos? Can people legally steal your Instagram photos? And then once you have your topic in, what you want to do is put in a paragraph that has at least one paragraph, could be two, that has a direct quote from another author or paraphrased, has an in-text citation, and has your opinion about the subject. So here's an example. Um, so here's the in-text citation, Jessica Contreras, 2015. The direct quote is in quotation marks telling what the author said. And then here's my opinion about the subject. So once you've finished your topic one post, what you're going to do is click and drag to highlight it and then hit control C on your keyboard. From here, what you're going to do is open up a new tab and you're going to go to weebly.com. And then click on, if you're already logged in, click on edit site. If not, make sure that you log in. Then what you're going to do is click on where it says new post down at the bottom. And for post title, again, just put the same title. So something like, can people legally steal your Instagram photos? And then you're going to click and drag a text box to go underneath the title and the date. And then you're gonna click where it says click here to edit. And then you're going to hit control V on your keyboard to paste your information. And sometimes you might end up with these extra spaces between paragraphs, you can always get rid of those. So then what you're going to do is you are going to cite your work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click at the end of the sentence and then hit enter a couple times, type in works cited. And then what we're going to do is go um, hit enter and go back over to the website where you got your information. Click up at the top to highlight the URL. You're gonna hit control C on your keyboard. From here, you're gonna open up a new tab and you're going to go to easybib.com. And then from here, you're going to hit control V on your keyboard to paste the website URL. Click on cite it. Then click on cite this. And then click continue to the final step. And you might need to scroll down a little bit before you see that button. Um, then what you want to do is fill in anything that it didn't fill in for you. And actually this particular website, it looks like it filled in everything. but. Um, if it didn't fill in, for example, the author 
or um, the date, check the top of the article. In this case, we do have an author and a date. If it didn't come up with the publisher, you'll find that at the bottom. So like, let's say for example, I wanted to find the publisher of this website. It's whoever has the copyright. And then you'll also see a year too, if you didn't find a year. So um, IDG Communications would be the publisher. Um, and so you wanna make sure that all that information is filled in. And then once it is, you click on Create Citation. And then from here, what you're going to do is just wait for it to finish loading completely. Um, because there'll be a copy and paste citation link that'll appear here, but it doesn't appear until it's completely loaded. So again, still loading. Now it's done. So then we click on where it says copy and paste citation, and it'll kind of just confirm that it's copied because it'll say the word copied once it has actually copied. Hopefully that works. There we go. Um, so then what we're gonna do is go back over to our Weebly tab and make sure that we're under where it says work cited and you're gonna hit control V on your keyboard. Um, and so then what you'll do next is you'll just go ahead and post it. So you're going to click on post up at the top, click on close. And so now you've got that post. Um, Now what you want to do is click on it again because we're going to just go ahead and um, give it a category. So what we're going to do is click on the post itself, click on post options, and we're going to click on where it says add categories. And categories should just be one to two words. So I'm just gonna call it Instagram since it's about Instagram and then click where it says new category Instagram. Um, and click on the update button in the top right corner. Click on close. Um, then what you're going to do is scroll down to the About Us post. Click on it once, and we're gonna add a category to this one as well. So again, click on Post Options down in the bottom left corner. Um, and then we're gonna click Add Categories again, and then type in something like About Us and then click on the new category when it appears. Then you're gonna click on update in the top right corner, click on close. Um, then what we're going to do is actually publish our blog. So you're gonna click on publish up at the top. You're gonna to click on continue. And then it's going to come up with your link. And if you click on it, then it'll actually show you your blog. Now, we are gonna be adding more to it, but now it's kind of neat because you can see how your blog works and you can click on let's say about us it'll bring you to your about us post if you were to click on Instagram it'll bring you to your Instagram post um, so anyway that's it